Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today was a Minecraft Live. A live stream event where they revealed what 1.17 will be. So, 1.17 will be the Caves and Cliffs update. It has finally come, the Cave update. And the mountain update in one thing, which is very unexpected. And today I will be going over some of the features that they have announced will be in the game. One of the things that they said they would add to the game is lush caves. They would add a new kind of tree that would mark where the lush caves would be. And if you were to dig under it, you would see caves covered in plants and all new blocks. One of the new things is the drip leaf plant, where you can stand on it for only a certain amount of time before it collapses and you fall off of it. They also improved cave generation, so most of them are much bigger. They also added different underwater cave generation and huge areas like an underwater ocean so whenever you go mining be sure to bring a boat one thing that they also added is the dripstone caves filled with stalagmites and stalactites that can fall on you and damage you another thing that they added was the skulk block which is a new kind of redstone block that can detect vibrations <laughs> if you were to walk near it it would activate and send a redstone signal it's pretty much wireless redstone another thing that they add is the warden a new mob that spawns in certain caves. It, it's blind, and, and so it can only hear, and it listens to vibrations. So if you were to throw a snowball, it would run to the location of where it landed. And it does a lot of damage. It does six and a half hearts with full netherite armor unenchanted in one hit. Another thing that they announced that they would add is goats. They can jump really high and they attack some mobs. We don't really know much about this. This is what the new mountain generation will look like in some cases. It looks a lot more realistic. Some might say better, but in survival mode that would be pretty hard to climb. Another thing that they talked about is Minecraft Dungeons getting new updates and a DLC. One of them will add goats and a mountain and ravagers. They also added the nether for a DLC, as you can see here a basalt delta, and a crimson forest, and a warped forest I think that is. There's also an underwater level, and an end level. Another thing that they announced that they would add, amethyst geodes that you could eat and you could find these they're pretty rare you can find these and use the crystals to craft a telescope where you can like zoom in on things another thing that they would add is copper which can be used to craft the telescope 
and it looks pretty good for building. Also, after time passes, the copper will rust and turn a bluish green. Another thing that is made with copper that you that will be added in the new update is a lightning rod. So lightning doesn't just strike your house randomly if it's like made out of wood or something. And it acts like a lightning rod. Another thing that they announced that they would add is bundles. It's pretty much a bag that you can store things in inside of your inventory. That's not it's not like a shulker box where you have to place it down. It's all within your inventory, which I think is pretty cool. And it can store a lot of things. Maybe more than a shulker box, I'm not sure. One thing that you could also find, a new structure, archaeological excavations. Where you can find brushes, and you can brush away gravel to find loot. And other things, like ceramic shards made to make vases. And these vases, you can put the shards onto it, then put fire underneath it to turn it into a vase. Another thing that they would add, which I think is pretty cool, axolotls. They will be found in probably the lush caves, I'm not, I'm not actually sure. And you can put them into a bucket. And you can tame them to make them fight other mobs. And when they get hit, they will flop over on their side and pretend to be dead until they're fully regenerated. Other things that they would add is things that would help people make maps. Also, the winner for the mob vote was surprisingly the glow squid. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so before the video ends, I have a couple things to say. One, I will be uploading a little bit less because of school. Also, I got Java Edition on my computer and I will be doing some videos eventually. And, uh, 1.17 will be coming out, or so they said. They, they said it will be coming out in summer of 2021. Okay, bye.